Anybody have any questions? Yes. If you have edgy material and the audience is getting offended or it's touching on some hurt lines, how do you continue to do your show that you want to do but keep the audience on your side? Well, first of all, uh, what's the most important thing about stand-up comedy? Relationship with the audience. Relationship with the audience, that's right. So, first of all, you need to be really connected to them. A couple things help. First of all, I like to, I like, you know, you can, people can do anything that they want in comedy, but I find that if you're going to do some edgy, controversial, hurtful kind of material, it, put it at the end of your show. Okay, so now you get people to kind of like you for a while, and then when you go into that harder stuff, they're more likely to go there with you. That's one trick. Uh, the other trick is, is, well, first of all, also connected with the audience, and when they start responding badly, uh, discuss it with them. <laughs> Why are you offended by that? And they might just tell you, and you'll learn what's going on. Now, the idea is for them to be part of the thing, where they're having an impact on what's going on. The next thing is to, uh, uh, if they don't like it, then you, the other tactic is to berate them. <laughs> <laughs> You know, to use, oh, yeah, yeah, you're a bunch of wimpy people here, a bunch of this and that, and insult them and, you know, put them down, put them in there, oh, man, you people, you're all a bunch of lightweights. Just attack them for it, oh, you know. Uh, and what kind of goes along with that one is then make it much worse. <laughs> then, then go, if you went over a little over the line, go way over the line. They'll go, oh, can you, you step back just a little bit? That other stuff was better. Uh, 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 it used to be that I was part of a theater group, kind of an example of this whole thing, and, and uh, I used to say, uh, Jesus tits was my phrase whenever I was exasperated, and uh, a group of Christians came into the theater group and asked me to stop saying Jesus tits, and I said I would. So I started saying, God's hairy cock. <laughs> and they came to me and said, would you please go back to Jesus tits? So I did. I'm, I'm amenable. I'm easy. The idea was, oh, you're going to tell me what do you try to censor me? Oh, I'm going to I'm going to go much further with that, you know. And the other thing is, uh, and I've seen people do this before. Guys, tell the audience. Oh, here's the other trick: is uh, have either the intro or your opening bit. Uh, tell them, warn them that this is going to be rough. Okay, I had one guy that uh, did 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 a, an opening. We helped him work on it and stuff because he was brutal. He was he would he would get up and he just he'd read you know every sexist you know uh, homophobic racial slur that you could possibly think of that was offensive. And at the end of that, he would say, "Now, if you're offended by anything that's in there." Stick around, it gets better. <laughs> and the audience was like, oh, okay. So <laughs> now I offended the hell out of everybody, and, and they were laughing because he told them he was going to be offensive. The other thing is, um, it kind of don't mean exactly uh, ignore the audience. In other words, I, I, want the always, I want you to always deal with the information coming in, but make a decision that you don't care if they're offended. Just kind of go, oh, you're offended. Okay, well, I'm going to do this one again. And here's some more. Here's another bit that's even worse. And I'm just going to keep doing this. And I don't care if you offend I'm offended. Okay, then leave. <laughs> you know, do your bit and just keep doing it no matter whether they're responding, uh, laughing, or whatever they're doing. If you want to do that set, you do that set to get that. As long as you're connected to the audience, as far as I'm concerned, because the, you're learning uh, about what's working, what isn't, et cetera, et cetera. And you don't always have to agree with an audience. That's my belief. You know, I've had audiences and I kind of went, you know, I've, I've, a bunch of people started heckling me and, and I went, you know what, I'm not going to try to even do my show. You know, I mean, this is so disrespectful and, and, and everything. I'm, I'm just going to leave the stage. And they called me dirty names and all kinds of stuff. And I was like, fine, good for you. Okay, good night. Psh, walked off. <laughs> 
I'm not going to. I'm not. I'm not going to be abused by an audience. I was connected to them, and I made that choice. Now you can disagree with me. Okay. Oh, you would never go off stage. I just chose that it was so disrespectful. It wasn't going to get any better because they thought it was funny trying to push my buttons. And they weren't pushing my buttons. I just didn't feel like dealing with all that disrespect. And I just went, okay. I didn't get angry or anything. I just walked off. I just, you know, and there was another, it was a showcase club. So I knew there was a series of comics after me. So sometimes you just keep pushing through it. Uh, but then again, there are those ones where notice, because sometimes if you're, you're doing material and you're really, really upsetting one person in particular, and they look like they may be violent, <laughs> <laughs> uh, there are fights out in the parking lots, so I always, that's when I always, you know, kind of go, okay, we're going to leave you guys alone, let me talk to the, you know, and, you know, I, I personally wouldn't push it to the point of violence, but I've known comics that were like, you know, fuck you, <laughs> I'm pushing this to the point of violence, because I want to say this, and you know what, I agree with them, it's not our job not to be offensive, it, it, it is, it is, it is our right uh, that was the whole point of the People versus Larry Flint, which was being offensive is not illegal. Okay. Now, if you start, you start. You're so you're so offensive that people you 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 know that. But I find offense. Some offensive people get their get their uh, group, and then a bunch of other people hate them. So, you know, I mean, South Park. How many people just love South Park? I'm one of them. And then there's all these people who think it's an, an evil show. Yeah, so what? Okay, then, then, then they get to vote by not watching. <laughs> That's the way they get to vote. Okay, it's the same thing with your audience. They get to not come back. I loved, uh, uh, it's a story I heard. I don't even know if it's true, but after the, uh, I think it was uh, the Golden Globes with uh, Ricky Gervais, or was that the Oscars? It was whatever it was. He said a few things, and a woman came up to him and said, uh, I found what you said was offensive. And he said, yes. Well, I'm never going to see you, look you, and watch you again. And he went, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't going to give up his position. He wasn't, you know, he did what he wanted to do, and he did it. Certain group of people loved it. Certain group of people hated it. So what? Live with it. Grow up. Just like in life, not everybody likes you. And just like in, in comedy, not everybody's going to think you're funny or enjoy your personality or what you're talking about. That's why... You have to be dedicated to what you're talking about, and it's important to you. And if I'm to learn how to put that in joke structure to help you articulate it through a sense of humor. And when you can learn to do that, then you go out and experiment with an audience and find out what works, what doesn't, and what offends, and then make your choices.